Arm, just uh, for you guys, when you look at, at Saturday in Kentucky, what stood out to you about the running game and, and kind of the way things went um, from the, for the first time out? Well, I, I feel like the first time, you know, it was just, it was just, uh, you know, uh, just something to get warmed up and see, see what we need to work on. So we, we see the thing that we need to work on. You know, we're just going to approve every week. Is it to have a game under your belt, though, to be able to watch film and to kind of go from there? Oh, it is it, it, very because, you know, we didn't have a spring this year and we was able to, you know, uh, re really get out there how we wanted to. So, you know, open up uh, week one with, uh, against Kentucky and uh, seeing what we need to prove on, is, it, that, was, that was really big. Next question is from Nathan King. Hey, Sean. Hey, thanks for talking with us tonight. Uh, Coach Melzahn was kind of talking to us earlier about how close you guys were against Georgia last season, how close you guys were to pulling off that win. How much does that motivate you guys going into this game and how much, you know, kind of motivation, I guess, do you draw from being so tight there at the end with them last year? Well, you know, um, we coming back with a chip on our shoulder because, you know, of course we we lost to them last year. And, um, we just, we just motivated and ever, you know, to play, you know, Georgia good football team. So we got to come in and play. So we just motivated about that because we know they're going to come and play. So we know that we got to come and play on our end too. Next is Philip Marshall. Uh, John, you got a lot of teammates from Georgia. Uh, do you see a little different pep in their step this week? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, because you know they're from Georgia, so they 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 always they want to beat Georgia. So, uh, you know, all all the players that we got on our team for Georgia, you know, they they, they uh, approaching the week kind of different this week, and they they just ready to play. What uh, do they? Uh, are, are they talking to you guys about? They need your help. <laughs> yeah, because you know they they from Georgia, so you know they they gonna hear it. they gonna hear it nonstop when they when they have a chance to go back home. That oh Georgia beat Auburn, so they, they want they trying to change it this year. They trying to say they they want Auburn to beat Georgia. Thanks. Next is Brian Matthews. Hi, Sean. Thank you for speaking to us tonight. Um, first question is: do, do you think your running game could be more productive? I know you guys averaged about three yards for rush uh, against Kentucky. Yeah, uh, I run the game. I run, I run the game. Gonna get uh, more productive. You know, it, just, it was just a uh, first game, uh, week one. You know, uh, we we just like like I said before, earlier. You know, we, we see the things that we need to work on. You know, we are gonna get better every week. So I feel like we're gonna we're gonna be uh, it's gonna be the run game gonna be more improved. Follow up. What are one or two things you think you can do better to to be more productive and more efficient running the ball? Uh, I could. Well, I just say. Um, well, for, for for the first game, I feel like I feel like running backs. We, uh, we play we play kind of good. Uh, so, I, but any day we work on probably just uh, just being more patient and probably yeah, that's just, that's just really it right there. Uh, just one, just being more patient. Thank you, Sean. Next is John Zener. Uh, hey, Sean. Another question on the running game. How much did that did that game kind of kind of motivate you guys and and probably the offensive line as well to to Kind of, you know, Auburn's got such a good tradition of running games to kind of to kind of step up your games and and produce more. Well, well, now you know we know what it takes to uh we know we know what it takes. You know, we, we always one play one play away from breaking. So now we just we just motivated, you know, just to, uh get run the run game going because you know Auburn, like you said, Auburn is known for running the ball football. So you know we, we just um uh, we just want to improve in that area, but we're going to improve. You guys think you got you had the the guys to do it, you just didn't get it done that one game. Is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a guy. You know, just like I said, just, it was just only week one, so you know, every nothing gonna be perfect week one. You know, that's the first game of the season, so we 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 not we not really too worried about the run game. We know the run game gonna go. Uh, you know, it's, it's gonna it's gonna do what it do. Next is Tom Green. Hey Sean, yeah, you know, this rivalry game is usually played late in the season. Um, first time in like seventy five years that's gonna be played before November. Um, does it feel weird preparing for Georgia this early in the year? Uh no it don't uh you know it, it, you know treat it like a any other game you know uh just like you know you never know something you know uh your schedule might you know move around a little bit you know, might have to play a tough opponent like we played week one so it it does it doesn't really matter you know uh when we playing we just we just know we gonna play them though. Next question is from Jordan Hill. Sean, what is it about the Georgia defense that stands out to you as far as how they play against the run and, and the challenges they're going to present on Saturday? Well, 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 we know Georgia defense. You know they're one of the best defenses. Uh, 
you know, out in you know in the SEC, you know, uh, they fly around to the ball. Uh, they show they show up good on film. So you know, we just just gotta be be prepared and we gotta be ready, just ready to uh, bring a fight. Cause you know we gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a uh, gonna be a dog fight. So we just gotta come to play.